The threat of a possible thunderstorm couldn't dampen the final day of the 2014 Vans U.S. Open of surfing on Sunday at Huntington Beach. After a week of competition and quest of prize money totaling $560,000 and up to 10,000 points toward their world champion tour rank, 124 men and 18 women fought for the top two spots in their respective final heat. The women kicked it off in the championship round. Stephanie Gilmore and Tyler Wright of Australia battled it out. Conditions weren't the best with flat water and a restart, but once the waves rolled in, Wright took home the title and a winner's check for $60,000. To all the girls that were absolutely ripping this week and making the most of you know the conditions that we had, it's not an easy job to do. Former two-time men's champion and hometown favorite Brett Simpson made it all the way to the semifinal round, but his run was stopped by 18-year-old Brazilian Felipe Toledo. Toledo advanced against 28-year-old William Cardoso, making it an all-Brazil final for the men, a matchup of aerial surfing versus power surfing. It's nice to, to be in the final, you know. I come in a lot of six, seven years to Las Open. They never pass for a second round. Cardoso went home with the highest individual scoring ride, a 9.03, but it wasn't enough to win. Toledo put his aerial skills to work and left with the biggest title of his career, which made him $100,000 richer. I got hurt in Balito like three weeks ago. And yeah, I just got here like just, you know, to surf and whatever, and not, not like that, that confident. And, you know, I just started to, to surf really good, got some waves, did some good scores, and I got more confidence, and I was thinking, yeah, I, I can win, bro. Toledo carries a momentum onto the Billabong Pro in Tahiti, August 15th through the 26th. This is Jordan Young of the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.